Welcome to Tokyo, one of the biggest, busiest, and most bewilderingly complex cities in the world. And that's why so many first-time visitors to this hyperactive metropolis are so easily overwhelmed and find navigating the city difficult, if not confusing. Well, that's why we're here, to show you an easier, faster, and more enjoyable way to explore Tokyo. Yes, we're back in Tokyo, and this time to experience the Japanese capital from an entirely different angle, literally from underneath the city. It's a fast-track tour of Tokyo by subway, a seamless journey by rail from the airport to the most popular neighborhoods, shopping havens, and landmarks of the city, and back. It's a side of Tokyo few foreigners get to see, and we'll show you how to enjoy the ride like the locals do. So join us underground in Tokyo. I'm David Saldrana. This is Executive Class. It's the Tokyo Metro, the world's most advanced, most extensive, and most seamless subway system. Fast and punctual, safe and affordable, and interconnected by a vast network of stations and rail lines. There's hardly any part of the city you can't reach by train and get there on time. For Tokyoites, however, it's more than just the most convenient way to travel. The metro is a well-loved local icon, and the stations and signs, tunnels and turnstiles, and that familiar rumble of trains on the tracks, they're all an indispensable part of city life. You see, Tokyo and trains, the two are like twins, and you can't really say you've been to this city unless you've tried it. Let's begin our tour of subterranean Tokyo in one of our favorite neighborhoods in the city, Omote Sando, known as the Champs-Élysées of Tokyo because of its elegance. Now, if you're new to the subway system of this city, this station is a perfect place to start because it's obsessively clean and highly organized to help foreign travelers like you. The Omote Sando station is a gateway to the upscale retail and entertainment district of Omote Sando and Aoyama. You'll find shopping havens all across the city, but few as relaxed, elegant, and chic as Omote Sando Dori. The avenue is lined with the flagship stores of global luxury brands and rows and rows of Zelkova trees that are a landmark of the area. On weekend afternoons, the avenue fills up with shoppers looking for the latest fashion trends in the stores or on the streets. Of course, there's so much more to do around the Omote Sando station than shop along Tokyo's most elegant street. There are other two attractions very close to this station, the Meiji Shrine and the punk and cosplay culture of Harajuku. Takeshita Street is ground zero of Tokyo's youth scene, even if you are likely to see more foreigners here with each passing year. The punks have since moved out, and hardcore cosplayers have found new neighborhoods to play in. But Harajuku is still a lot of fun with cute cafes, vintage stores, and a lively street culture that's still distinctively Japanese. You could spend an entire day in Omote Sando while shopping is your thing. We're going to show you another part of Tokyo that's even more famous for it, Ginza. And the fastest way to get there is by subway. And we'll show you just how easy it is to use. But first things first, make sure your station connects to the Ginza line. The letter G, this one does. For first-time users, the Tokyo Metro system looks, well, just look at that. 
so overwhelming. But believe me, it's gotten so much simpler through the years. You can transact in English now. And just follow the instructions, it's so easy. You simply need to know where you're going. And a display tells you how to get there and how much to pay. Many stations even provide huge infographic billboards and handouts just for tourists. I know it's a bit overwhelming at first, but here's some good news because there's another option. You can buy a Tokyo subway ticket. And if you have your passport with you, you'll be amazed at the fantastic rate they offer. Oh, hi, good time, Mas. Oh, sorry. English speaking, fantastic. They speak English here. Nothing to worry about. I told you that you can buy a uh, Tokyo subway ticket. Yes, can you help me? A ticket gives foreign travelers unlimited transit on the Tokyo Metro and Toei subway lines for either 24, 48, or 72 hours. I only paid 1,500 yen for this ticket. Normally, I would spend the same amount just for one day using the regular tickets, but this gives me unlimited access for three straight days. What a bargain. We are on our way to Ginza, and with color-coded symbols and signs in English all over, it's easy to find your platform and train. So here we are at the Ginza station, which is just about 13 minutes from Omotesando station. Double that if you were to take a taxi, and let's not even talk about the cost of taking a taxi in Tokyo. Now, this is what I really love about the Ginza station. It connects to all the big department stores in the area, Mitsukoshi, Matsuya, Wako, among others. And as of last year, the new department store on the block, Tokyo Plaza. Tokyo Plaza is the newest and glitziest department store this side of the famous Ginza crossing. You can access a stunning glass building from the street, or like most, underground, directly through the station. On the seventh floor is a really cool concept store. It's called Hands Expo. And if you are familiar with Tokyo Hands, that famous DIY emporium of Tokyo, well, this is from the same group. It's a premium concept showcasing the best of Japanese hand craftsmanship. The Japanese have an old term for it, monozukuri, the art and craft of making things by hand, and it's making a comeback. Most of the stuff here is modern, but using traditional techniques and natural materials to craft them. If you're into handmade artisanal stuff, you could go crazy on this floor. So let me just pick out a few sections that I find interesting, like this one. It's for sake enthusiasts. Over here you see handmade sake glasses and sake cups. And of course, small batch artisanal sake made by small and independent producers from all over Japan. There are 125 high-end shops in all to choose from, and when you're done browsing, we suggest cooling your heels at the Kiriko Lounge, overlooking the famous crossing and buildings of Ginza beyond. The lounge takes its name from Edo Kiriko, the unique cut glass art that's unique to ancient Tokyo. The sculpted glass base is as perfectly done as the handcrafted beverages and wagashi, or sweet pastries that they make. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Really now, what else could I ask for? Artisanal coffee by Obscura Roasters, one of my favorite roasters in Japan handmade pastries, and of course, this amazing view of Ginza behind me. This is a great day. Shopping and Ginza, the two are inseparable and inescapable. 
even when you're inside the station. Even if the Ginza station connects directly through underground passageways to the big department stores of the area, that's still not enough for the busy Tokyoites who can't seem to find the time to go shopping in these big multi-level stores. And that's why they came up with Echika to capture these busy commuters on the go. For hardcore shopping, however, nothing beats the legendary department stores of Ginza. And the venerable Matsuya is one of them. Depato, or department stores, have been the main attraction of Ginza since the 1930s. And the subway line and station was built then to funnel shoppers to them, like they still do today. And this is one of my favorite things to do in Tokyo. Go to a food court, grab a bento box, find a park and enjoy a picnic. At Matsuya, the choices of bento boxes are just mind-boggling. Despite the introduction of malls in the last decade, the depato remains popular with locals, especially their sprawling food halls on the basement floor, where they're connected to the subway station and to commuters looking to grab a meal or edible souvenir on the go. In Japan and especially in Tokyo, people are always looking for something that's new, something that's trendy. And right now, this is what everyone is talking about. This is what everyone wants. It's called Itsuki Yokan. They're sweet jellies, handmade, artisanal, and very popular right now. Now here's another very popular chocolate concept right now. It's dasai, it's basically sake chocolate. It's sold exclusively at Matsuya. On the weekends, Ginza's main thoroughfare, Chuodori, is close to traffic. And always a great time to enjoy Tokyo's most famous upmarket retail district, unimpeded by cars on the road. In Tokyo, shops stay open till late, and in Shinjuku especially, where the lights of Tokyo's megastores come alive at night. We're here at the Shinjuku Sanchome Station, which is one of the busiest stations in Tokyo. It services over 230,000 passengers every day. I'm also told it's the newest and the best lit station in the metro subway system. Now, being the best lit, that's great news because Shinjuku is known for its nightlife and this station is busy up until midnight. Dining, shopping, and bar hopping are what Shinjuku is most famous for. And free Wi-Fi in the station points you to that store or that bar you've been searching for. So I didn't know Isatan was here, fantastic. Just like Ginza, this station has direct access to big department stores in the area, such as Shinjuku's famous Isetan department store, and to this one as well, which is the only one in the entire Japan. It's called Biklo. Basically, it's two of my favorite stores put together, Big Camera and Uniqlo. Tokyoites can't seem to buy enough new clothes or electronics, and Biklo gives them both under one roof. Shinjuku is a transport hub that connects millions of Tokyo's workers to their homes in the outskirts. But many wait for the last train and stay to enjoy the mythical nightlife of the place. Shinjuku is well known for its dining scene, everything from fine Japanese cuisine to working class meals. And speaking of working class meals, one thing to look forward to when you're here is yakitori. It's skewered or barbecued meat. We found a place that serves some really good ones. Yakitori is a classic salaryman meal, enjoyed with lots of sake, a working class dish of barbecued offal, innards and entrails, 
is perfectly suited for a long night of drinking. Ah, Shinjuku. It's one of my favorite places to explore at night. Nothing quite matches the vibrancy of this place, especially after sundown. After the break, our journey across Tokyo continues with breathtaking views of the Japanese capital. From above, from the street, and from underneath the city. From Tokyo's oldest temple to its newest landmark. We'll cover one of the world's most exciting cities by train when executive class returns.